Here's Australia. So here we have Follow Holly Mann coming from Australia. Austria. Sophie Conrad with an English setter here representing Austria. Belarus. Yuri Harbach from Belarus, miniature poodle there. Belgium. Jeet Lock from Belgium. Canada. Isaac Clark from Canada. Now we only have one boy in the competition and last year, Croatia. so it's nice we've already had a couple come in here. Here we have Tatiana Horvat from Croatia. And Nova the Scotia Duck Toller there. Tadias Kusera from the Czech Republic with an Irish Followed setter. Won the group Denmark. last night. Got a whippet here for Daniel D'Souza from Denmark. Here comes Estonia. Sergei Pustilovov from Estonia. Another whippet there. And Finland. Claudia Ronhold from Finland with an Australian Shepherd. We'll see those in the Pastor group later today. Bienvenue à la France. French handler with a French breed. This is Yelaine Tijan. Fabrizio Pistone from Germany, American Cocker Spaniel there. Welcome to Gibraltar. Sky Bargain from Gibraltar. Now to Hungary. Katerina Giano from Greece. Sorry, that victory isn't here. So we've got Cezanne Hungary. So next here we have Iceland. This is Stephanie Stella Bastorolta. Emerald Isle Island. Our Irish entrant is Sarah Cushley, a grand Patty Bisson. Italy. Our Italian competitor, Sarah Napoli. All the way from Japan. Over from Japan, Mui Kutuga. And, and on to Latvia. Really lovely suit there. Marta Kanep from Latvia with an English Springer. Lithuania. Our Lithuanian competitor. I'm not going to try and pronounce her surname. She's our 22nd competitor here. Malta. Paula Kusheri from Malta. Monaco. Aurora Satori from Monaco. The Netherlands. And Melissa Van Austin from the Netherlands. Making the long journey from A New very Zealand. long trip here for Amy Bray, who's come all the way from New Zealand to compete with us. Norway. Urja Sophie Nine, coming from Norway. She's showing a papillon. Won best in show here last year. And Poland. Monica Kalazauj is here from Poland, showing a pointer from the Gundog group. Portugal. Andrea de Samaranda from Portugal. Russia. Valeria Brasileva from Russia. Another Australian Shepherd there. Slovakia. This is Karin Stebrava from, from Slovakia. Slovenia. Masa Korosek from Slovenia. The Republic of South Africa. Tremaine Borster over from South Africa. Viva España, Spain. <laughs> Our Spanish competitor, Ingio Espia Gaia. Sweden. Selma Martinson from Sweden with another pointer. Gundog's very popular here. Switzerland. Dina Weiland from Switzerland. All the way from the United Kingdom. Here's our Kingdom. competitor, UK representative. This is Abby Levine. Now, I've judged Abby, and she's a fantastic little handler, so keep your eye on her. Welcome back to Ukraine. Here we have our Ukraine exhibitor. This is Melina with another Irish setter. And the United States of America. And finally, from the USA, we have Jonathan Wehry with a Gordon setter. So there are 15 returning finalists, 11 coming back for the second time, three for the third time, and one for an amazing fourth time. 29 girls, eight boys. So our judge here, just taking a look 
at the Hamblers here. Now remember, he's seen them once this morning. They're back here with a second dog. So first stage, which was earlier today, they had an hour to get to know the dogs they were showing. They were allowed to select breeds that they were familiar with. But now they're back. They've only had five minutes to get to know this second dog here. So to get a rapport with a dog in that short amount of time is really difficult. But if you want to become a professional handler, and that does exist, that is a profession, then you need to be able to do that. The winner has handled the breed from the gun dog group for eight So the judge will be looking to see that the dogs are stood four square. None of the feet should be out of line. Obviously, these are dogs, not cardboard cutouts, so you will see them move. And in that case, the handler will need to correct them as quickly as possible, get them back into that show stance. You can see here that there's two types of stance. So the stacked stances, and that's where the handler is actually holding, physically holding the head and tail. And then there's free standing, and the handler's there for using bait to get the dog to stand up. But there's argument about which is more difficult. <laughs> we'll leave it up to you to decide. Thank you very much. So just taking a final look there, last two competitors from the Ukraine and the USA. So Arma now turns his attention to the first of our competitors. He's going to ask them to move across and back. So here is our Australian competitor. A judge is going to ask for the dog to be this moved straight up and down. Now, it's really important in junior handling competition that those lines are as straight as possible. The reason for that is that if you were in the breed ring, it helps the judge to be able to assess the movement and whether that movement fits with how it should be in the dog's breed standard. So Holly here has four Jack Russell Terriers at home. A bit different breed there. Our second competitor is from Austria. This is Sophie Conrad representing Austria. She's also 18 years old. She's currently at university studying marketing and communications. She's 18, so one of the older competitors here. And she's showing that English set of beautifully. You'll see, they stack the dog at the end of the run. That's typical in junior handling. You won't see that in the breed rings. But it just shows off that dog to its best advantage. Our third competitor, and he is the uh, oldest uh, that we've got here from Belarus. Yuri 19 years old. 19 years old from Belarus. He's got six dogs at home. Chihuahua, Yorkshire Terriers and Russian Toys. And he used to want to become a vet but now he's changed his mind and prefers photography and traveling. <laughs> and from Belgium. So one of the younger competitors here. Here we have 13-year-old from Belgium. Now the outfits of the handlers are taken into consideration in handling competitions. You should choose a colour that complements your dog and really shows it off to best advantage. But you also shouldn't draw the eye to yourself. It should be the dog that's centre stage. So no skirts that are too short. No tops that could get in the way of the dog's movement. Our fifth competitor here, Isaac Clark, over from Canada. 14-year-old Isaac Clark. He's 14, and they've got an incredible 18 dogs at home. Golden Retrievers, Irish Wolfhounds, and a Cairn Terrier. He's currently at high school, and he wants to be a freelance writer when he's older. Here we have a competitor from Croatia. She's 18, so another of the older. She was 12 years old when she started handling. And she wants to be a professional dog handler. We see more of those overseas than we do here in the UK. We tend to have a lot of owner handlers in the UK. But it is certainly a profession if anyone's watching. Now, we saw an Irish setter win in the gun dog group yesterday. It wasn't this one, but 
beautiful breed nonetheless. It's my breed. So we have our 16-year-old competitor from the Czech Republic. Another one with a huge kennel at home. They've got 23 dogs at home, 17 whippets. So set are very different for him. He enjoys traveling, skiing, and cycling in his spare time. As mentioned, just setting the dog there up at the end of the run. It's wonderful to see another male competitor here in this ring. It does tend to be female orientated. And on to Denmark. Our competitor from Denmark, he's 17. Just the two dogs at home. Australian Shepherd and a Shih Tzu. Only started handling in 2016, so relatively newcomer to the discipline. He's currently at business school, dreams of moving to the US to work in a kennel. And from Denmark, we move to Estonia. This Our Estonian competitor, old. another 18-year-old here. Kusovalo. You see that suit really complements the colour of the whippet, makes its outline stand out, which would be important in the breed judging. He wants to attend university in Liverpool and become a vet. Our Finnish competitor now, 17-year-old Claudia, showing an Australian shepherd. She says she also has a parrot at home, but he doesn't do any activities. <laughs> Just across the channel from France, here is uh, another 17-year-old. They have between 20 and 30 Ilene dogs at home. France, 17 years of age. She enjoys running in the woods with her dogs, and she used to do agility. But she says she stopped that because she prefers handling. The handlers should really be using the size of the ring, using as much of it as they can, especially with a bigger dog, to show off its movement and really get it striding out. A German competitor. He's 17. Got his first dog in 2011. Has three dogs at home, a Havanese, a miniature American Barbara Shepherd, and a Larsa Apso, showing an American Cocker Germany. here. You see, that's a smaller dog, so not using quite so much of the ring. Again, choosing to free stand the dog there at the end. Handlers are allowed to have a little bit of bait or food in their hand. From Gibraltar. This is 18-year-old Skye. She has a male rescue crossbreed at home. Also competes in obedience. 18-year-old Skye Bargo. She hopes Barbara to be a paramedic when she's older. Gibraltar. And she volunteers for St John's Ambulance at the moment. You see, the handler always runs in the direction that the, dog's f the, the judge's feet, feet are pointing. So Sky took a slightly diagonal line across the ring there. That's perfectly okay, as long as she's followed the judge's feet. Next, we have our Greek competitor. Great. <laughs> 15 years of age, so sorry, this is actually a Hungarian competitor. She's 15. Our Greek competitor is missing today. So they have 15 dogs at home. They breed Russian Black Terriers and English Setters. And they also have American Cockers, showing a Terrier here. Another Australian Shepherd here, being shown by an Icelandic competitor. She's 16 years old. Three dogs at home. 
Now this is a big, fast-moving breeze, so you should see her take a little bit further. Oh no, she stopped, she stopped short. Hopes to become a dentist and a dog judge one day. Many of these handlers will also compete in the breed rings. Here we have our Irish competitor, Sarah Cushley, she's 17. Started showing in 2014. Studying an animal management at the moment, and she and hopes to become a veterinary Ireland, nurse. Sarah Cushley, Sarah 17 years old. It might look like some of these handlers are running in slow motion, and there is a reason for that. It's because it encourages the dog to really stride out. And you'll see the best handlers doing that in the group oh. rings later. Our Italian competitor next, this is Sara. She's 15. Shows golden retrievers at home. She said she wants to continue handling because it's her passion and hopefully create her own golden retriever breeding. Smaller dog there than she's used to, just using a smaller amount of the ring to show off the movement. Again, she's looking where the judge's feet are pointing and she should be standing the dog about a metre away from the judge's feet, but it's a big ring, so a little bit further is allowed. Now, really travelling to get here, we have our Japanese competitor. She's just 13 years old, so this must be quite a daunting experience, coming all the way over here, competing in the big ring at Crufts, but she's taking it all in her stride. They've got 15 dogs at home. And she only started handling two years ago. So, relative newcomer, but she's handling that golden retriever so well. Remember, she's only just met this dog. Looks like he's keen for a treat there. And she's chosen to stack the dog, so move its feet into line rather than freestanding it. That's just to make sure it stood four square. Our Latvian competitor now, 17 year old, has American Cocker Spaniels at home. She says she's always loved dog shows and went along with her mom when she was younger. Marta Canapa from Latvia, 17 years of age. Showing an English Springer here. It's another gun dog. And judge is just looking to make sure that dog is stood four square and that Marta isn't obstructing it in any way. Next, I think this is our youngest competitor. So from Lithuania, she's just 12 years old. She has two dogs at home. Started handling three years ago. Dia she's also a professional Dia swimmer, Dia so very impressive. Lithuania, our youngest competitor, just 12 years of age. Judge there, looking for straight lines. From Malta, we have 17-year-old Paula. She has 14 dogs at home. And she says she started handling because she has such a Paula passion for dogs. Proudly representing no. Malta, and Paula is 17 years old. As well as handling, she likes to dance, do ballet, jazz, and contemporary dancing. Here we see an example of a freestanding breed. So Handler trying to get the dog four square without touching the legs. So this is Monaco. Monaco She's Aurora 15 Tomori. years old, Aurora. Nine dogs at home. She started showing her first dog, a miniature poodle, when she was just five years old. So lots of experience despite her young age. Managing to get the dog fairly square there, just using the bait. So from the Netherlands, we have 17-year-old Melissa. 
Now we talked about outfits before. You can see she's chosen a really pale suit there. Perfect for one of the darker colored dogs or the, the lovely red of this pharaoh hound. Enjoys horse riding when she's not taking part in canine activities. She also does agility with her whippet. And dog survival, which we don't do in this country, but it sounds very interesting. So if Air Miles could win the prize, then I think Amy would be our winner. She's here from New Zealand, 18-year-old. She's got miniature smooth haired Dachshunds at home. She says she's the second generation of her family to be involved in breeding and showing pedigree dogs. Also performs in agility, rallyo, and uh, dancing with dogs, which obviously here is called Heelwood Musical Freestyle. Showing a Papillon, the breed that won the best in show last year, our Norwegian competitor. 17 years old. She says her family and owns several Norway. reindeer herding dogs. Started showing seven years ago. And she does participate in reindeer herding as an activity in Norway. Our Polish competitor, 16-year-old Monica. Has 11 dogs at home, Papillons, Monica Australian and Shepherds and Russian Toys. Showing a pointer here. As we mentioned, she should be following the line of the judge's feet when she runs away. You'll have noticed that the handlers have switched round. They've changed sides up there. And that's because a golden rule of handling is never get between the dog and the judge. 